Consider this. You get in your car, turn on your GPS navigation, type in an address, and instead of driving your car to that destination, the car drives you. Sound a little crazy? Well, don't tell that to these guys. They're here in the Mojave Desert competing in a race of sorts to prove a self-driving car, not a remote-controlled car, a self-driving car is anything but crazy. The vehicle uses um, lasers and radar sensors to figure out what's going on around it. It can pick out static things in the world like buildings and walls and fences. It can track moving vehicles and understand where they're going and make guesses as to their intent. And then it can also look at the line markings so it can register itself to the road so it stays on its side of the road rather than getting into oncoming traffic. The competition is sponsored by the Department of Defense who is eager to apply the technology on the battlefield, thus keeping soldiers out of harm's way. We believe that if we can have this technology out in the field, uh, that we're going to save lives. Uh, by, for example, getting people out of driving convoys by themselves and having the convoys drive themselves. And there's a lot of brain power at work here, competing to be the first and best at autonomous driving. Students and faculty from universities like Stanford, MIT, and Carnegie Mellon, and researchers and engineers from corporations like Continental, Caterpillar, and General Motors are involved as well, because they see this race as a way to advance the ball on getting these technologies into vehicles. Our customers will ultimately someday be able to have cars that drive themselves. Uh, they'll benefit because these cars won't crash into each other. They'll benefit because it'll reduce traffic congestion. It'll reduce stops and starts so it saves energy and reduces uh, emissions. So how long till this technology is available? Do you have cruise control? Then you already have some robotic driving technology. And others like lane departure warning and blind zone alert are active safety technologies that will be available in many vehicles soon. I'm Chris Hansen.